People sometimes seem repulsed when I tell them I don't mind foraging for food in the trash. And then I remind them, you eat ass. This is just a premise. Comedians open cards! No coffee, it's still Wednesday, still Biddeford, and I think I have the third part of the trifecta that started this thing. That's right. And what is your name? Paul Roy. Paul Roy. That's the easiest one to spell. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm David Bacon. I got four, and I'm happy enough with that. But yeah, you beat me on that one. How long have you been doing comedy? Um, about a year now. Nice, nice, nice. So you started a little bit before you guys started this. Yeah, I took a class with Brendan Air. Um, right. Did our thing, and then I started going to fish for, for the open mics. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're like, well. You know, I asked Mulligan, right. hey, would you be open to open mic? Yeah. Right. Well, the place is huge. All yeah. these places are in space and stuff. Yeah, yeah. We did a show uh, a couple weeks ago upstairs. There's a big room upstairs. Oh, nice. You know, 110 people up there. Brandon awesome. Was our headliner. Yeah, was oh, great. awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. Oh, yeah, awesome. yeah. It was a great night, even in the heat. Yeah, the heat was tough. I mean, yeah. I know it gets even more filled, um, Cindy was telling yeah. me, but even with the heat, People stayed for freaking yeah. the whole show, which is, awesome. which is that says a lot. Uh, and you see they're more lively and into it, but you can tell it was. People little were, I freaking, I, yeah. I loved it. I was happy with my set. Yeah. I mean, Glad you made it, so right? oh, it was so fun. Okay, so I got all these cards. Yeah. And you just pick a pack, you open I'm it. Up to, so, uh, oh. I still have my Oh, that's true, because we were talking about freaking eBay, eBay yeah. stuff outside, so this is the guy I was talking with the most earlier. I let stuff go now, but uh, yeah, I yeah, yeah. a lot of shit. Let's see. I bought all these on eBay. Oh, I, I could tell. Right? Yeah, I mean, you were. Yeah. Uh, oh, then I got a pro jacket. Right? Oh, yes. I think that's the third, third, third I person. Love the yeah, it's from Denmark or something. These are not American cards. Oh, no shit. Um, Godfrey um, opened, the, opened the pack of those. It's his favorite show, and he does voices and stuff. He, he like, did the theme song sounds, oh, oh, which I will cut into this here. And here's the music. I remember I was really little. I'm a kid of the 80s, so a lot of these are... Uh, right. I think all these, they'll be smaller size, and they're often they're like a whole bunch of them are stuck together. Like they didn't even perf unperforate them all or something. Or like perforated, they're not cut. What country did you say? I, it, it says on there, because I thought they were English, and then someone... The second person opened them was like, oh, it says Denmark or something on the... Oh, yeah, they're like uh, tobacco cards. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, oh, it's, uh, imported to Jersey, but... I don't is know. that like a puzzle piece? That's awesome. <laughs> they look like the Star Wars cards. Yeah, they're like, they're so tiny. Oh, that's awesome. But they're cool I've seeds. Never, yeah, the... I've never seen that before. And these are more of them. They're just uncut. Oh, yeah. They just <laughs> didn't, they just didn't... I think I made the right choice. Yeah, the Kojaks are great. And you remember the show? I do. I was really well. Do you remember the lollipop? Yeah, I was talking to someone earlier about Kojak. Not nothing to do with the cards. I didn't even. He was a detective. Recall, you know, yeah. someone was saying, "Oh, it was at a different. It was at. It was at a, the earlier club tonight." Um, a lady who did the show was saying how her mom had a crush and was in love yeah, with Kojak. Telling us about Yeah. yeah. And the, you know, the, that fucking lollipop and stuff. And she's like, how could you not want to fuck him? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Bill's Ray was talking about him recently too. Yeah. Oh, that's bizarre. Yeah. Awesome, yeah, just sign one for me and you keep the others that you awesome. so desire. Which one do you want? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, they're still kind of connected. So obviously you love the comedy scene. I mean, you, yeah. you, you started your own thing, so. Um, you know, I'm 54 and I just started. I'm 55, it, so. It's one of those things where, you know, I always wanted to do it, right. but I needed that little push. And, uh, yeah. I well, COVID, writing. I think, helped get a bunch of people to, like, oh, let me fucking, I might as well do this. Yeah, I took, you know? a, I took an improv class, mm. and then I saw Brendan's class, and I really wanted to stand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I, uh, 
Well, there's a there's an improv group in, in Manchester, New Hampshire, and they have a free class tomorrow. And I've had a bunch of them do the show, so I'm I'm taking that tomorrow, just a one yeah, day. We're we're kind of considering because uh, the guy I took the class from, he's also a stand up and he's been there. Maybe doing like an open mic uh, improv sometimes, just to see how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's enough interest. Who knows? Yeah. Because yeah. we're pretty shows. Well, there's a bunch of um. There's at least two. Portsmouth, Port, yeah, Ports, what a Portland, Maine. There's at least two different improv groups. Oh, I sketch think. groups now. Um, yeah, at the festival, there's been like five or six different groups. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's awesome. I'm yeah. volunteering again this year. Just oh, sweet. So we can, uh, you know, meet people for the mill. And yeah, Ian's done the show a long time, or a long time ago, and then randomly I ran into um, the his buddy who does that. Main show. Oh uh, yeah, Mark. It was insane. Right? So he did the show too. It was so crazy. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that freaking comedy fest. All right. So, uh, hey, go see live stuff because that's where it's happening. Check us out. On oh, did you, did you sign one? Yes, you did. Perfect. What, what were we saying? Uh, Instagram the Comedy Mill. Check us out if uh, you haven't been here. Come check it out. Oh yeah. Great crowd. Great laughs. Good jokes. I mean, this. Yeah. I mean, I, like I said on the earlier show. Cindy, you know, I've seen Cindy at a lot of different mics and stuff, and she was like, yeah, this is her favorite mic to do. And I'm like, I see, I mean, I got a lot of laughs on stuff, and not always the same jokes at the same places that I'll get at other places. And the crowd hangs around. So like, and the crowd in the freaking heat, and they gave out popsicles. <laughs> all right, but the, 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 the tables and chairs are all we, removed, so it's probably we, time to we go. We've had 60, 70 people here before. Oh, awesome. Yeah, and if you no said 100 and something upstairs, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Comedy is so hot right now. Yeah. People want to do stuff and get out and, yeah. you know, forget everyone. Everyone spends so much time on the freaking, their devices and stuff. Right. So turn this shit off and go see live stuff because this is unimportant. Go see fucking make your own shit. <laughs> um, you know, so you got to get away from that sometime and it's so much better alive. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good day. <laughs> Okay, Thank thanks, you so Dave. Much. The horrible warm up, but give it up for your first comic, David Bacon. Yeah. Yeah. Appalachian Trail and you start in Georgia and you, know, you head up to Maine. The first like place where there's like a little town that you can like relax and do stuff is is this is a waterway where the Trail of Tears crossed. So there's like a plaque. It's like a adventure. You go and like kayaks, you go around all this stuff, it's a cool thing. And there's like a little plaque that's like, here's where the Trail of Tears start across the river. And you're like, well, that kind of ruins the vibe. Uh, nothing shows respect for the flag than Hiding in the corner behind me, freaking a buffet table. Uh, shout out to veterans. There's no veterans here. They're out there. I don't know how February got picked to be the Black Month, nor how June became the Gay Month, but I do understand why next month is pro Hamas. Can't you hear the chants? July, July, <laughs> July. <laughs> when I was younger, I was embarrassed about being adopted, but now it gives me a lot of street cred. Oh, you did time in prison? Big deal. Not only was I institutionalized at birth, but I too was innocent, even more so. Yet, I did five months solitaire, behind the bars, just hanging in the crib, hitting the bottle multiple times a day. Plus, later, I could have relations with my new mom. Thanks, Oedipus. They say the band playing music while the Titanic was singing, was sinking, were heroic. I don't feel the same way about Taylor Swift. Good evening, my name is David Bacon, and yeah, everything is better with me, thanks for asking. Ladies, gentlemen, Breeze Company, 
Our five minutes tonight might be too meta for this young crowd. I mean meta musical. I'm gonna start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room, all these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. There seems to be a lot of conservatives who are against gender reassignment surgery for teens, but they are fine with assigning all baby foreskins to the trash bin. And then, once the most pleasurable part of the mail is removed, they seem surprised some dudes move on to number two. Go Pride Month. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of do improv, but I don't do yes and. I do yes ampersand. If you're into tennis, I'm not into you romantically. Why won't you just thought you love? <laughs> this next joke seems to resonate more with a younger crowd. And it's not about sounding. People sometimes seem repulsed when I tell them I don't mind foraging for food in the trash. And then I remind them, you eat ass. This is just a premise. Connecting sneakers seems gay to me. I mean, they're like fucking person. I mean, they're, it's the gayest thing you can fucking collect is fucking sneakers. Oh. If, if anyone collects sneakers, you know, and you're not gay, you're gay. Uh, now, I'm a hoarder. I'm not sure if any of you are. It's time for hoarders to come out of the closet. I got stuff to put in there. <laughs> As a dude, I feel like it's my responsibility to bleed more often than my lady. <laughs> so once a week, I like to go camping and forge around in the pricklers. Or some kind of prick gets me to bleed. Uh, give me the light, I'll give you one more little thing. I don't understand getting tattoos because 99% of the time, you're making yourself more asymmetrical. Like, I'm too pretty. No, you're not. Thank you very much. Yeah. Woo. Come on, really clap. Yeah. Pretend yeah. that there's an audience here for David Bacon. Come on. Woo. You bastards. If you don't clap, I will go around and individually tickle you all. Right? That is a threat.